Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be breaking down the Episode 19 trailer. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I want to say thank you for the support on my Godspeed review earlier. I really loved that episode, and I had so much to talk about. I actually went over the 20 minute mark, so... If you stuck around and actually watched the whole video, thank you. Yeah, that video is kind of blowing up right now, which is really, really awesome to see. So I appreciate that. So thanks to all of you who viewed it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about next episode. I'm super excited. I'm on a really high high after the Godspeed episode because that was such a great origin for Nora. And I feel like the origin episodes tend to be very good because recently we had an amazing origin episode on Supergirl for Red Daughter my favourite episode of the season, and now we have this Godspeed episode for Nora, which was my favourite episode of this season of The Flash, so really, really great, and I can't wait to talk about this new episode, so this trailer is very high in its energy, it's a lot of shouting, and that excites me, because there's a lot of drama to go over and talk about. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is in the future, in 2049, this is after I'm guessing the ending of this episode, of the Godspeed episode that is. So Nora's been abandoned by her dad and he essentially doesn't love her anymore. He can't trust her. He's literally just left her to be herself in the future and is like, don't come back. Don't try and even time travel because I will feel you in the speed force and I will stop you, I guess. He didn't really go over how he would stop her if she would be put in prison or he would kill her, yeah, he's not gonna kill her, but anyway, let's move on, so we see in this specific shot, she's in the cell, well, outside the cell next to the reverse flash, so essentially the reverse flash is going to be her last calling point, and that's how he's sort of going to continue to be a presence in the season, because he is essentially like her father figure now, as he is her mentor, but also... I guess more of a father because yeah Barry really just ditched her like totally and so I really really am looking forward to this all right so moving on to the next shot we see that Ralph is here he's using the speed force bazooka I believe it is and he's helping Iris time travel because in the background you can see Iris in the time sphere and wow Iris is time traveling and I'm kind of surprised Ralph is the one doing it not like Cisco or Caitlin I guess maybe they're around, but I can't really see them, but yeah. Anyway, Ralph is shooting the thing, and Iris is going to the future. So she says, you took our daughter back to the future, and she says, I didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. So she's really freaking out because Barry has obviously told everyone that, yeah, I've chucked Nora in the future. She's not coming back. She's never coming back, and yeah, I can't trust her, he says in this new shot. And we see him in the pipeline with Iris and they are battling it out. They are shouting at each other like <laughs> proper loud, like literally. And we see this other shot of Iris and she's in the time sphere. She's about to go to the future. And then we cut to the next shot. And this is back in 2049 in the prison with Nora and Reverse Flash. So Reverse Flash only has 10 minutes left. So she has a very limited amount of time unless she wants to keep on changing the timeline keep on asking different things by going back to the specific moments but yeah his time's running out I'm guessing he's going to die when the timer actually ticks over the 10 minute mark obviously to the zero second mark so this is what is said so between the battle between Iris and Barry in this trailer Barry says as you can see in this shot as he absolutely freaks the fuck out he says she lied to us months and he is freaking out like look at that face right there amazing acting by grant gustin but also candace in these scenes and we see this next shot of iris and iris is in the time sphere she's looking up and i'm guessing this is just prior to when she's about to time travel so i don't know if iris is actually time traveled she definitely hasn't time traveled in the time sphere she's been vibed to the future but i can't recall if she's actually time traveled before so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you do remember that 
But anyway, I'm very excited to see her time travel. She's going to actually be meeting the Reverse Flash, so that's interesting, and we'll talk about that in a sec. But we see Barry and Iris still going at it together, and Iris, like I mentioned earlier, says, I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. She really freaks out. You know, gotta give a massive shout out to Candace's acting right here, like I just said about Grant. They look like they are really killing it. They are fully getting into it, and the camera's all in a close-up, so it emphasizes that pain and anger. All right, so the next shot is of Ralph. He's again using the Speed Force Bazooka to open up the breach or the portal, whatever we call it, and he is firing that right in the forest. And then we go to probably my favorite shot of the trailer, and this is the reaction of Nora seeing her mum, her present day mum, in the future, in the prison. And so it must be noted that Nora by this point has a suit on, so she's had time to change. This is later in the episode and she's got it on and her reaction is priceless she's like mom what why is she here essentially and we see reverse flash sort of smirking in the background and so we see the shot of iris in the future she's in 2049 she's already time traveled she's finally here and she says your dad was wrong so by this you can infer your dad was wrong to send you off and just leave you and so i think this episode what i'm getting at from the trailer is i think Nora is going to take a turn for the dark because we can see later in the trailer which we'll get to in a sec she is sort of siding more with Thorn as I said he's like her father figure now now that she's been abandoned by Barry she sort of thinks uh, maybe it's the same for all of Team Flash so she might not believe in Iris too much but she's going to obviously have a bit more you know kindness or a bit more affliction for Iris because you know, she wasn't the one that dropped her there in the future and just left her alone like Barry. So, yeah, looking forward to these scenes especially. And so Joe says, we got a big problem. And I think this is in regards to Iris going to the future. So he might be saying this to Barry and Barry's going to have to go to the future again and get Iris out of there because I don't think Iris is actually doing it with the permission of Barry because Barry doesn't want to have anything to do with this version of Nora right now so I doubt he would actually let Iris even go or you know if she asks. So I think Ralph and her are doing it behind his back and we see this shot inside the prison and so this is a close up of Nora's boot and it's streaking with lightning and you see this shot of her hands in the prison again so this is to show her anger and as you can see in the next shot she's freaking out so Nora says how could he stop loving me and so this is with the revelation at the end of last episode that he essentially is just leaving her here and is like screw you we don't care about you we don't trust you so you're gonna stay here and never come back you can't time travel or anything so again a testament to the acting this episode looks like it's really really on top notch point when it's actually to do with the acting so we see Jessica Parker Kennedy freaking out over and I'm presuming she's talking to Iris still at this point it could be Thorn not sure but she's in her suit and that is as we head to this next shot and this is a reaction shot of Iris so Iris is reacting to her actually freaking out so I'm presuming that correlates unless it's a bit of sneaky editing in the trailer but yeah, Iris is going to be shocked. I think Nora's really going to take a turn for the dark, like I mentioned. I think she's going to sort of be twisted a bit by Thorn, but I don't think Thorn has too much malicious intent right now that he is showing on the outside. Maybe he does on the inside, but for now, I think Nora's going to be freaking out mainly over how just her father treated her and just left her because, you know, she went back to see her father. That was the main reason. That was like. A massive part of her origin and why she came in season four but also season five to stick around so we see this shot of reverse flash as we head towards the end of the trailer he's in the prison maybe this is you know when iris is there so i'm really excited to see iris actually talking to thorn i think that's my most anticipated thing along with nora actually talking to iris in the future can't wait for that so the last few shots of the trailer is of Barry and Barry is in this room I don't know where it is I'm actually not too sure but we know this 
episode is actually a lot to do with Killer Frost. The trailer doesn't suggest that, but I think it's going to be sort of like half-half because Caitlyn's father is going to be returning, also her mother. So maybe this is Barry actually fighting Icicle in this episode. And so the last shot of the trailer is Nora running. Don't know if this is present day or the future. I can't really tell. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos later this year. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.